Please tell me how you came up with the idea of, vir of, vir of ritual, please. Well, I came up with the idea of ritual because I like cocktails. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I think that there's nothing wrong with that. But especially these days, um, work is crazy. You're on screen half the time. The rest of the time, you're trying to be a third grade teacher. And uh, having the, the ritual, having the ceremony of a cocktail at the end of the night is important. It's how you switch your headspace over. Um, I'm also 46, though, and I started to realize that in a lot of times the ceremony was more important to me than the alcohol. Uh, so what I wanted to do was develop a way to have the taste and the bite of gin and tequila and whiskey without the alcohol or calories. Um, so it started on my, uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a passionate amateur chef, so it, it started on my cutting board. Um, but in consultation with nutritionists and chefs and mixologists and some of the best distillers in the business, uh, we went through more than 500 iterations uh, to find a way to use all natural botanical flavors um, to really mimic the, the taste and bite. The great thing is you already know how to use them. If you're a gin and tonic person, you pour our gin alternative just like you would pour a traditional spirit. Uh, and it's been, it's been really wonderful to see people adopting it, that we're not here we're not anti-alcohol, we are pro options. It's another tool for your kit. Um, so it's perfect if you're driving or dieting or training or parenting or it's Tuesday night or you've already had two. Um, or if you just wanna explore a more uh, mindful way of celebrating. Mm -hmm. So I love, I love your little tagline, say that again, the ritual, talk about that. I love that. The ritual of the thing? Yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. Sometimes it really is all about the ritual. Uh, and, and what our spirit alternatives let you do is enjoy the ritual without the alcohol. Um, that can be after you've had two drinks and you want another, but you don't want to have to deal with the, the downside. Or it can be the only thing you drink. Um, it can even be something that you mix with traditional spirits, which is a way that I use it quite frequently as a way to kind of downshift, a half-calf, if you will. Okay. So, like I said before, I had it at a place called The Diver, a bar in Chicago. Um, can you find this at many bars across the country? Or uh, was that just, just happened to be? No, we're growing really explosively. We only came on the market last September. Um, we sold out of what we thought was going to be six months inventory in five weeks. Um, wow. We have continued to grow. So we're, we're a national brand. You can find us at uh, major liquor retailers all over the country. Uh, here in Chicago, Binnie's was one of the first to take us on and, and has been a big supporter. We're in bars and restaurants. And then especially important during this time, um, we're available uh, on Amazon and on our own website, which is ritualzeroproof.com. So you can have your cocktail shipped right to your door. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, which ways do you prefer to use your, your products? As well, far as, you know, the cocktails. The cocktails, yeah. It's, it's made to be mixed. Um, it's really built around the idea of providing a spine to a, uh, to a classic cocktail recipe without having to have the alcohol or the calories. Um, so I recommend that people make their favorite drink, um, but they swap in the ritual alternative. We have a, a gin, which is bright and crisp and herbaceous, very refreshing, makes a wonderful gin and tonic. The whiskey is soft and warm and smooth, and it's, it's got a great nose. And the tequila uh, is probably my personal favorite. Um, it's a strong, grassy agave tequila flavor. Um, mm -hmm that makes just stunning margaritas. And for me, you know, if you make a margarita with say ritual tequila alternative and you still use triple sec or Cointreau, mm. that means that drink has a third of the alcohol and calories. To me, that mm. means I can have three of them. Oh. And that's just kind of the way that I'm wired. Thanks, thanks for the idea. Now <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a huge Negroni fan, so uh. I've been trying to figure out how to use your gin to make that. I, you know, you really can do it um, with the classic recipe, just swapping out one to one. Um, but we've also got, we've put together a lot of recipes to give people inspiration. Um, we found that a lot of our fans have a favorite cocktail, but a lot of them are more interested in the notion of a really sophisticated adult beverage, um, mm -hmm. something that they can feel like a, you know, a grown up person having uh, without necessarily becoming mixologists, <laughs> which is fine. 
So what with- I found was odd was that when I bought these at Benny's uh, last week or two weeks ago, last week, I got carded. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kept telling the cashier, these are not, these are not alcoholic prices. This is spirit free. <laughs> and she didn't care. She looked at it. She was a little confused, but she still carded me. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So you get to feel, uh, you know, like you look like you're 20 and you get to go home and have a good night. Sleep. Absolutely. I'm always thrilled when they card me. That's a happy day. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, tell me again, um, tell me kind of the process of, what's in the the tequila mixture sure and i know you, i don't want you giving away any secrets but oh, no, just no 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 some how, of those we're going to keep pretty close oh of course uh, but how are you able to get that how was i able to get that margarita uh taste and feel and i could only have one because it was like in a sense potent i mean <laughs> I maybe maybe my significant other was just pouring too heavily but it tasted like the real deal i, I was like oh i can only have one <laughs> ah, I love that. That's wonderful. Um, creating these recipes, it really was a labor of love. I mean, we, we care about what's in our glass. We care about what we put in our bodies. And so all of the flavors are all natural. Um, there's no chemical flavorings of any kind. And I liken it to cooking. Um, it's more like building up flavors using the ingredients. So it's not alcohol with the alcohol removed. It's more that we are building up the flavors that define these spirits. So for tequila, that's agave and kind of a, a, the, the grassy notes of it and green pepper and a lot of other things. Um, but then most important to me was that you can't make a cocktail without the, the heat, the, the burn of a spirit. Without okay. that, what you have is juice. Um, and juice is great, it's not a cocktail. Uh, so we needed to find a way to replicate uh, the, the feeling that alcohol has without any of the impact of alcohol. Um, it's very complicated. Like I said, it took more than 500 iterations to build wow. up a very precise blend of botanical distillates that trick you. And especially in a cocktail, you're not alone. Um, the placebo effect is really strong. Uh, it, 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 it will fool you. We're used to things that taste like that in a cocktail glass making us feel loose and happy and it works. But this way you still wake up ready to crush the day. 